Hello Libras, what is going on? Welcome to another love and romance reading. Welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone is feeling well and doing well. So this reading may resonate if you or your person have a Libra sun, moon, rising Venus, or any other major Libra placements. Please remember though that this is a general reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. And lastly, if I genuinely feel that it will be insightful to do an extended reading based on what we see here, then you'll be able to find the link for that in the description box below. But enough of me talking, let's dive into this. We're going to be pulling some oracle cards just to grab the overall theme and energy, and then we'll be diving deep with tarot. So what is going on here for the Libra Collective? A time to give rather than take new moon in Virgo. So maybe for some of you, you have Virgo in the chart. Maybe your person does, but again, not necessary, uh, as I always say. But there may be a period. I, I feel a sense of distance, either emotionally or physically. And there may be this inequality, you know, this unequal give and take. And it may be a time where someone kind of needs to step it up here. A win-win outcome is forecast. Full moon in Libra, you have your own card here at the bottom of the deck. So I do feel like there's going to be a win-win here. Everyone's going to be happy with however this plays out. The energy is at least there for this. Okay, this may also be about compromise, which makes a lot of sense if you are currently feeling an unequal give and take in a connection. So let's pull a few more here. What's going on here for the Libra Collective, please? Chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. So you and this person definitely have chemistry. There's a lot of attraction. We'll get into this more in a moment. Forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past, do you experience more love in your present moments? So there may have been a situation here that felt a bit painful. There's a need for forgiving and learning. I do feel like this connection is bringing in a lot of lessons or learning or experience in some way, shape, or form to someone. Let's see the overall energy here specifically between you and your person, Libra, the person on your mind. Quality time in the reverse. So this, this makes so much sense here with a time to give rather than take. There may be a lack of quality time. There could be people, two people here who have very busy schedules, or maybe there's one person here who just has a very busy schedule, but there's a lack of quality time. Like I said, the first thing I said was I'm sensing this distance. Let's get uh, your energy here, please. Where's energy? Detachment. Okay. Let's see your person's energy. Contract in the reverse. Dream come true in the reverse at the bottom of the deck. We're going to pull a few more cards here just to check in with your person's headspace and heart space. Please show me Libra's person's headspace and heart space. I plan to reach out soon. I hold back. I need time and space. I want to do the right thing, though, at the bottom of the deck. So, Libra, the overall energy that I am getting here is that there is a strong dynamic pull and chemistry between you and this person. Okay, drawing you closer together, even if it's just energetically. However, there might be a lack of chemistry and discontentment at this time. For some of you, there might not be communication. Before you decide whether or not this reading resonates with you, I ask that you listen to uh, the rest of this part of the reading because I am picking up two different storylines, okay? So, as I said, there's a strong connection. Whoever you're connecting with, there's a strong connection here, or there was. 
However, at this time, there may be a lack of chemistry and discontentment. But there is a potential to revive the chemistry through, you know, spending time together, embracing playfulness, being more thoughtful, just generally reconnecting in a more authentic way. But the primary energy that I'm getting here, Libra, revolves around a perceived lack of of quality time or feeling that something is insufficient. Okay, I do feel that with detachment upright, you are practicing healthy detachment by releasing expectations and allowing events to unfold naturally, which I love. And I see that your person is taking some space, which might be related to a break in an agreement or contract. Uh, this is where I'm getting the two different storylines. So the first one that I'm getting here is that, you know, externally there could be other factors at play, such as someone walking away from a job or dealing with other aspects of life. You know, they're walking away from some aspect of their life in some way, shape, or form. It doesn't seem like this person is walking away from you specifically, but more so needing to take some time to resolve something externally, okay? Despite their current distance, though, you know, there's indications that they plan to reach out to you soon, but like I said, they may need some time to sort things out. The second storyline that I'm getting here, Libra, you know, this person could be from your past, and this could be someone who previously walked away, and this may have led to limited communication to no communication at all between you two. And if this is the case, you know, if you're resonating with this storyline more, then I do see still that you have detached from this person. But, you know, you may be asking why, why is it this person showing up here then? Well, their energy is reappearing in the current situation because it seems that despite the fact that they held back and maybe broke some sort of agreement or commitment with you and, you know, taking some space here or pulling away, it seems like their energy is resurfacing here because they're planning to reach out to you. With I want to do the right thing at the bottom of the deck, this does indicate that there are sincere intentions and I feel like this person could be going back and forth whether or not they should reach out, okay? This is what I'm seeing so far. So, Libra, let's get into the tarot and see what is really going on here, okay? Because you may be... I feel like you're going to be hearing from someone here. Someone that took some space, some time... Things may have fizzled out, but it's like, despite this, you and this person did have very strong magnetic chemistry between you two, even if it kind of died out here. In the past, I feel like this person is very much drawn to you. For some of you, if this person was dealing with a lot externally, this could have also been a contributing factor as to why this chemistry faded out. There could have been too much going on for this person, and I'm not justifying it here, but I just feel like this, this energy of this person needing to take space for some reason. But let's see what Tarot has to say here, and we'll dive deep into this and see what comes out here for the Libra Collective, please. Three of Pentacles in the reverse, so there is a lack of cohesion, collaboration. It may have felt as though you and this person were bumping heads. Additionally, this could indicate a potential third party, but it doesn't seem to be romantic that I'm, you know, that I'm sensing here. Judgment, okay. The Devil in the reverse. I do like this card in the reverse. This is Capricorn energy. The Moon in the reverse. Uh, representing your person, so Pisces and uh, Cancerian energy. This person may be emotionally releasing something or coming in and revealing something to you. The Seven of Wands upright is representing you, so you are standing your ground regarding something here. Page of Cups in the reverse. 
interesting very interesting at the bottom of the deck five of swords ace of wands in the reverse is a secondary energy so was there some sort of betrayal conflict feeling at odds with each other and ultimately the inability to carry something out the inability to execute something or maybe there was uh because someone didn't take action here there was that sense of betrayal in some way shape or form okay I just heard someone didn't do what was expected of them or what you thought they were going to do or something like that. That's just for some of you. I don't want to forget about this. We're going to leave that there. You know what? We're actually going to leave both of these there because I do feel like this is significant. So I do feel that in the past with the devil and the reverse energy, you know, there may have been some codependent or toxic patterns at play, but with the devil in the reverse, this is the indication of letting go of that and stepping into one's power. This is someone who may have let go of control in order to gain control of the situation. There may have been someone here who really took back their power, stepped into their independent energy, as I said. I do feel that someone may be coming in here, or there's some sort of communication, or there's just this sense like you are standing your ground regarding something. You are standing your ground, and your person is releasing something or opening up about something. There may be a bit of clashing here. With judgment showing up here as, as the blocker challenge, I do feel like there is some sort of an enlightenment or wake-up call or decision that does need to be made. We're going to have to clarify and see what this is about. Now, the page of cups in the reverse does indicate, you know, this could be a water sign, but this is not necessary. Maybe, you know, maybe you have water in your chart. Maybe your person does, but again, not necessary. It really could be your person because they do have the moon in the reverse showing up here. But I do feel as though there may be someone here who may be having blocks around expressing their emotions, comfortably at least. There may be someone here who is not connected to their emotions or doesn't know how to handle particular things here within in an emotional sense this may be related to and this is just for some of you you standing your ground on a matter and this person's reaction and this may not be that this is this person's reaction that could be for some of you but this could just be the environment or a description, something that is just describing the overall environment. But the only way to really figure this out and dive deep, Libra, is to clarify and see what else comes out here. So as a reader, it's just easier for me to draw all of the cards at once so that I can just see the whole picture. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And as always, I'm going to be drawing the cards on camera for that transparency, and then we'll be diving deep. All right, Libra, let's dive into this. So as I said, I did draw all of the cards on camera for transparency. However, I did turn some of these piles upside down just so that the table does not get too overwhelming for your eyes or mine. But we're going to be going through everything one by one in detail, starting with the past. Now, for some of you, this may be the more recent past. For others of you, the more distant. And for others of you, you may actually be in this energy right now. And if that's the case, then this is signaling that you will soon finally be transitioning out of this energy into the more current energies, which we'll get into in a moment. But with the Devil in the reverse, the Eight of Swords in the reverse, and the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse, along with the Page of Wands in the reverse, as I said, Capricorn energy, we also have Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries with the Page of Wands. I do feel like there was this letting go or this purging or this understanding of 
unhealthy behaviors and letting go of something that was unhealthy. And this may have been really, really... I may have been focused within one's headspace, okay, because of the sword's energy. I do feel that this is the energy of kind of like facing the music because with the eight of swords in the reverse, this is the sense of digging oneself out of their own mental prison, facing their fears, looking at things in a new perspective, in a new way that can bring in the light and just really reveal a lot if that person is willing to face the music or face, you know, whatever it is that they need to face. I do feel that with the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse, this may have really pushed someone out of their own comfort zone. I do feel that there have been two energies who... This is the energy of, of detachment, like two energies detaching a bit here. And the situation may not have felt ideal. It may have made someone feel a bit insecure, even unstable at times. But I do feel that this was also an aspect that was being faced about how the situation has been making one feel. And there may have been a desire for some, just for some, to speak out about it, to express some sort of message. But ultimately, one did not. Someone was not feeling ready. Alternatively, this insecurity and instability that may have been faced may have had to do with finances, the mundane 3D life, day-to-day -day type thing. And I'm also picking up this is a bit of a different storyline, is that there was a need to detach and really face reality of a situation because it just wasn't what one really desired here. And the Page of Wands in the reverse with all this other energy, it, it's, it's almost like there may have been someone here who had some ego issues as well. And there may have been a need to face a situation that one knew, you know, was unhealthy. It may not have been the worst for some of you, but it may have been like, okay, if I continue down this path, this this may not end well in a sense that it, it's just unhealthy. But there was something here that needed to be faced, is what I'm getting. If this is resonating for you, Libra, so far, please let me know below. I do read all my comments, and I would love to hear how this is playing out for the Libra Collective. Let's draw an oracle. Boundaries. So, deja vu at the bottom of the deck. So this could have been something that may have been cyclical just for some of you. But this is really pertaining to the past. And with boundaries, boundaries, you know, this is... It really depends here because with boundaries, it, you need to set healthy boundaries to protect yourself, to protect the connection. But boundaries is also, you know, if you set them too high, you could be keeping people out. And this may be your energy. It could be your person's energy. But ultimately, with the devil in the reverse, I do feel like this is more so healthy boundaries. Someone deciding to set some healthy boundaries because they kind of faced the situation here, this, the, the necessary situation that they had to face because it didn't make them feel good and they knew it. And it's almost with the, the Eight of Swords in Reverse, it's like someone, this is just for some of you, some of you decided that they were no longer going to lie to themselves and that they weren't going to be grasping onto potential and opportunity, but to really look at a situation for what it is. That's what I'm really getting here. So the more current energies that I'm seeing here, and these two kind of flew out together, so I needed to take them, but there may be 
a time out here between you and this person. I do feel like there is someone here who is very, very much uh, focused on themselves, their own healing. There may be a lack of collaboration if there is any sort of communication and because it feels like things are a bit lopsided or that you two aren't really working together, it could just really be about focus on the self. But I'm, what I'm also getting is if there have been arguments or a lack of cohesion or even the sense for some that everyone's that that someone is doing everything on their own or it could be that there's someone here who is placing their energy elsewhere at this time but more so I feel like even if that's the case there's a lack of cohesion and being on like the same team and so during this period of time out and spending time with oneself there is an opportunity here with the ace of pentacles to really see or even deal with some sort of resistance to change. Like there, there's some sort of emphasis on, and this could either just be maybe a Scorpio or an Earth sign, a Virgo, uh, Taurus, Capricorn, but that's not necessary because what I'm really getting here is that there is an opportunity to see some sort of resistance to change how, how something has not been changing here. There may be someone who is risk averse, who's really afraid to embrace particular emotions or take a leap of faith. Someone keeps doing the same thing over and over. And ultimately, this lack of cohesion and this period of quietness or time out that allows each person to kind of just focus on themselves a bit more is only, of course, it's, it's always healthy to rejuvenate the mind and take time out and so forth if necessary. But with the Three of Pentacles in the reverse, this is saying that this lack of cohesion leading to this retreat and this time out is only bringing in opportunity for additional, not only acknowledgement of the lack of change in the stuck stagnant energy, but also the opportunity for this to persist because I feel like something is not really being addressed. Just pull a card here. Euphoria. Let's pull another card. Redacted. With euphoria and redacted in the, not in the reverse, sorry. With euphoria upright and redacted upright, I feel like, I mean, redacted, this is someone who's holding back. I feel like there's someone who, yeah, there's, there could be, I feel like someone's not opening up about their feelings. I feel like someone is holding back. Someone's holding back something here. Because this euphoria card is like when things are, are flowing so smoothly. Or is there someone here who's being a bit avoidant and they just want things to flow smoothly? Connection. I Yeah, I feel like it's like there's someone here and I feel like this is your person. You make them feel good. There's a connection here. But I'm wondering, is there someone here who wants things to just flow easily? And with redacted and optim optimism in the reverse, this is the sense of holding back, not wanting to address, not wanting to face more serious matters that may actually be 
what really needs to be addressed here in some way, shape, or form. We're going to leave this here just for a moment. But this could be why in the past things didn't really material materialize in a healthy way because you may have been dealing with someone who is resisting some sort of necessary change and there's stagnation here. And so you may have your guard up because with the block judgment, page of swords in the reverse, three of swords in the reverse, and the ace of swords upright. I don't mind the ace of, of swords in the reverse here. But there is some sort of wake-up call, understanding, epiphany, clarity even. Related to this Page of Swords in the reverse. And this may be around how someone shows up or doesn't show up. But the Page of Swords in the reverse is someone who, you know, they may be a bit argumentative, they may be defensive, but this is also someone who doesn't speak their truth. Actions and words may not align. So, with the Three of Swords in the reverse being a card of communication, healing, and reconciliation, it's almost like any attempt that this person may bring in, if it's not addressing what needs to be addressed and speaking their truth and addressing things in a genuine, proper way, it's doing more harm than good. It's causing possibly little bouts of heartbreak. And I feel like from that in itself ha has brought some sort of clarity. So there's this wake-up call and possibly even some sort of final decision that needs to be made related to how someone has been showing up here is what I'm getting. Let's draw an oracle for this. Reciprocity. So yeah, the lack of reciprocity is here because this is in the blocked position. Um, there could be with follow your heart in the reverse at the bottom of the deck. It may feel like um, the heart and the mind is at odds with one another. But yeah, there's this wake up call. It's like, okay, this is not reciprocal. This person isn't bringing in the, or matching the energy that's necessary in order to like fully heal something here. Your person is showing up as the moon in the reverse, the seven of cups in the reverse, the six of cups, the king of pentacles. You are showing up as the seven of wands, the four of cups, the three of wands, and the two of pentacles. So take what resonates here. Feel free to swap the roles if it makes sense. But I do feel like your person may be coming in here. That was a bit loud. And emotionally opening up or revealing something that may provide some clarity related to the past and stability, structure. There may have been periods where this person has showed up quite stable in the past. Healing. So what I'm getting here actually, and this could be for some of you, it could be in the past you had to let go of this person and healthy boundaries needed to be set or healthy boundaries needed to be set or both, okay? And now I feel like, you know, you may have your guard up against this person and now this person's wanting to come in and they could even be going through a major period of healing and gaining understanding around some sort of past situation. But you just may not be having it here, uh, Libra. Or you at least have your, your defenses up in some way, shape, or form. 
So there was some sort of tower moment or reality check for this person down here. And I feel like this person wants to heal things and pick up the pieces and figure out a way how to move forward. And I feel that this person is seeing a lot related to the past. And possibly, you know, if you were showing up in a way or if you have earth in your chart, maybe you don't. I you know it's not necessary, but this person could be looking at how stable, secure, and so forth you were showing up for them in the past. But the question is, is this person feeling afraid uh, of being vulnerable despite making particular realizations? Libra, I feel like you just don't trust this person. I, I ran away. I know I need to face this, but I don't know how at the bottom of the deck. So, yeah, this person may have been avoidant, and there may be a lot coming up for this person that is allowing them to see through the illusions, possibly their own self-sabotage, the fantasy that they created for themselves within their mind, possibly, you know, anything that wasn't truth. It's like they're starting to see through that. And this has a lot to do with the past. And this person may have ran away from this in the past, ran away from you. But now it's like they want to heal and pick up the pieces here. And even if you two aren't in communication at this time, I do feel like this person may reach out. But you may have your defenses up. But this person is still, like, they want to heal the connection, but they're also healing on their own independently as well, is what I'm getting. You with the, the Seven of Wands, like I said, you have your defenses up with the Four of Cups, you know. There, there is this detachment here. And, I mean, you may be open and looking out and how to manage the situation. You may be kind of going back and forth. But there's something here you're standing strong about. It's like, this is the type of energy of someone who is willing to walk away, who is willing to say no, who knows their worth. Mirroring in the reverse. Deja vu in the reverse soulmate recognition at the bottom of the deck so with mirroring in the reverse so there may have been an energy here where it's like was this person not taking accountability? Was there a blame game going on? Not seeing eye to eye? I mean, there could be a, a sense that you and this person don't see eye to eye related to something in the past where there was some sort of repetition. You may be feeling like it's best to go your separate ways because you two don't see eye to eye. That's just for some of you. I do feel that... Yeah, you may be figuring out how to manage a situation, but there's there's something here you have your guard up about and you're not wanting to accept here. You're not accepting less. It's not necessarily that you're flat out denying this person, but it's like you don't want to deal with the past. There's something here you don't want to deal with. Maybe overall you don't want to deal with this person, but I feel like you you don't like how this person is showing up you may feel like they're not learning particular lessons, but you may want to block this person out. That's just for some of you. I feel a sense of even exhaustion here. But there's something here with this Three of Wands and the Two of Pentacles I know I need to face this, but, but I don't know how. It's like, yeah, it's not necessarily going away. I'm stuck. I ran away, I'm sorry. So yeah, for you, I'll make it up to you at the bottom of the deck. 
but you may know you need to face the situation. But yeah, you may you may be feeling a bit stuck here, but however this is showing up, it's like, you know, there's a need for more here. Let's use tarot here. I want to know more. Tell me more. The seven or wands, queen of swords in the reverse. Okay. I feel like your headspace is very important to you. You're protecting your headspace and your heart. Yeah, okay. So you need to put some burdens down here with the ten of wands in the reverse. And yeah, so I feel like you may be distancing yourself from this person and you may not want to bring them out in the cold. You may be needing some space. I feel like you're protective of your headspace, your heart space, and you're going back and forth either about trying to make some sort of decision to just really, really throw in the towel here or you're weighing things out and trying to manage some sort of pain. You could be going back and forth about a decision as well. But it's like something may have, I feel something painful happened here. And you have been managing that. So this is why you're protective of, of your headspace. And it's like, do you really want to continue to manage that? Because that may be what you need, you would need to do in this connection unless this person just really decides to fully address what needs to be addressed, like the root. And it's like, if they're not willing to address what really needs to be addressed, so true healing can come in, you might just completely close this person out. And I feel like this is what you're already feeling like you need to do because this is becoming burdensome. And we have the Page of Cups in the reverse, the Four of Pentacles in the reverse, the World the magician in the reverse and then we also have the sun and the ace of cups in the reverse so i do want to get more about this but i ultimately feel that some sort of ending is occurring here i feel like this is King of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So one thing that I see here is that there could be someone here who is upset if you're not reciprocating with them now. But I, the overall energy that I'm getting is this nonchalant energy, like kind of like screw it. <laughs> but it is really letting go of trying to hold on to something here and allowing things to just kind of be. Like there's a sense of like a stalemate, but just allowing things to play out, allowing things to be. The magician in the reverse with the wheel of fortune and the five of cups in the reverse is telling me that someone here, and by the way, this is Virgo, um, Virgo, Gemini energy, and we also have Sagittarius, and with the fixed signs, Leo, um, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus. But I feel like someone is being very careful with the energy that they manifest, the energy that they bring in. I feel like there's also this energy of just allowing things to play out, remaining optimistic, bringing one's love in towards themselves. Because a boundary may need to be set here. It, you know, it's like if this person isn't showing up in a way and they're put in, in the necessary way and they're putting you in a position where you need to balance out the pain and kind of juggle this and you're not able to put it down because they're not willing to address it with you in the right way so that you can feel at peace. <laughs> you're just ending it on your own is what I'm sensing.
Yeah, so... Yeah, so what I'm getting here is that because this person, despite them desiring healing, because of the mutual energy, it's like, okay, they want it, but they need to step into this change because there's this resistance with death in the reverse Scorpio energy, by the way. And it's like, yeah, this person may have ran away and now they're wanting to heal this, but they need to come in in the correct way. And so although this person may be coming in, like I said, unless they're addressing it correctly, I feel like you're just kind of letting go here and it feels like there's a bit of a stalemate, but you may be like, okay, well, if this person is, if I'm going to be with this person or if we're going to move forward, then they'll show up in the right way. You know, like if they show up in the right way, then we'll, we'll move forward here. But with confusion, there may be some confusion related to some sort of like situation and this person could be even confused if they feel like you're just suddenly walking away. This person be, could even be feeling a bit confused. Because <sighs> surrender in the reverse, this is resisting, worrying, focus on expectations, trying to control. And with soulmate recognition in the reverse, It's like, did I think this was too good to be true? You want to make sure that at the same time, it's like, you don't want to be feeling like you're trying to force a connection. I ultimately feel like you're more detached. I feel like you're the one who is standing your ground and you are not necessarily interested in just bringing this person in from out of the cold. And like I said, they would need to show up in a proper way, like you're not chasing them. And this person, I feel like they, they know that your energy has shifted here. This person's wanting to heal things. There's a major wake-up call related to the past. This person, it's like they want to come back in, but I just don't see that you're having it. And you may be like, like I said, you would need to be convinced here. Like this person would need to show up in the proper way and... You're being careful. And when you see that this person isn't showing up in the proper way, you just may kind of just, it's just like you're not really letting it phase you. You're kind of doing your own thing. And then this person may be left confused, like, wait, you know, I reached out to Libra and it seems like they don't really care anymore. Well, Libra had to detach. <laughs> That's what I'm getting. If this resonated for you, please let me know below. We're still going to be pulling a few cards here, but we're going to be taking this over to the extended. By the way, Libras, I keep watching for a preview of that. And we'll talk more about this at the end of the reading, but let's draw some cards here for you. Positivity. Memory. You guys have good memories. <laughs> like a good memory, right? You guys remember a lot here. Nothing slips by you. Yeah, strength at the bottom of the deck. So what I'm really getting here, and this is really, you know, I'm totally vibing with this energy, but it's like you are remaining positive. I feel that um, you're all about kind of cleaning things out. You're all about cleansing here, cleansing the soul, the mind, the body, the heart. And I feel like you remember you remember what it's like to have abundance and all of the abundant things that you currently have around you and what life can be like, the beauty of life. And I feel like for many of you, that's what keeps you going. And so when you are facing energies that are not aligned with you, you quickly know it, Libra. You quickly know that this is not the abundant energies 
that you bring in, that you want surrounding you, that you already have around you. And so you just may be feeling like it's time to cleanse. You remember and you know all the good things that you have in life, that you have had in life. And it doesn't need to be this hard. It doesn't need to be this way. It's only this way if you allow it to be. But you've been setting these, these boundaries here. And you also know deep down, Libra, that it's like, it's got to be, if it's not a hell yes, then it's a no. Like, with passion and agreement here, this is telling me that you want someone who is passionate and excited to move forward, forward with you. And you know that you should be feeling this way. It should be mutual. And you know what it's like to have that. And it maybe for some, you know what it's just like to say yes and mean it to other things as well. But you're really drawing on the positivity that's around you at this time. And I love that because it's really, really pointing out that if this person's going to be showing up in a way, in a specific way, it, it's very easy to tell that it's not lining up with everything else good, all of the abundance that you have in your life. I know I'm a little bit all over the place with that message, but the Libras will know what I mean if this message is for you. And so you're letting go of what no longer serves you. And I feel like you've been working on letting go of a lot of things that, you know, has not been serving you for a while now. And because of that, you have been able to uh, replace what has fallen away with things that are meant for you. You know, these beautiful energies, abundance, love, happiness, joy, whatever it may be. Just how you spend your energy. Because for some of you, you may be like, I know what it's like to be happy. In this situation, whatever this is, it's not making me happy. So that's what I'm really getting for you, Libra. So if you would like to join me over at the Extended, by the way, keep watching for a preview of that. Uh, but if you'd like to join me over there, the link for that is in the description box below. We're going to be exploring all sorts of things over there, including uh, your person's feelings, intentions, their next uh, actions towards you, what you may not know about this person or situation that you should know, some guidance, advice, timing as well. Then we're going to do a small pick a card at the end and dive deeper into your person's energies and uh, get some messages from them as well. But if you'd like to join me over there, like I said, we dive really deep. I hope to see you over there. The link is below. If not, then I really hope that this reading was able to provide you with enough clarity and insight into your situation. So um, if you did find that this resonated, please comment below. I do read all my comments and I would love to hear from you. But uh, that's what I have for you for now. Thank you so much. I love you all and I will see you next time. Bye. If there were any sort of rippling effects here, external influences, third party things, person, place, and concept idea, I feel like this person is desiring to remove that or squash that that this person has going on and there may be a sense of feeling a bit overwhelmed. But with duality and stimulation, just have they have they been able to do the inner work? There have been a lot of lessons that have helped this person see how they need to refine themselves here to stay focused on your desires and what it is that you really want to manifest and bring into your life. Remember.